This is a piece of the rope that was used to hang one of my two buddies here in Marion, Indiana, on August the 7th, 1930, 65 years ago. After they'd hung him on a tree, they came back to get me because I was to be the third man. They wanted all three of us hanging on the tree that night. Marion has the black cloud of the lynching hanging over its past. And since uh, law broke down 65 years ago here, there's a fear that that could happen again. I think there is an element of shame. There is an element of guilt. There is an element of fear in both the white community and in the black community. On the left, Abraham Smith, 19 years old. On the right, Thomas Shipp, 18. They were accused of the murder of a white man, Claude Dieter. My mother went to the hospital and father. They had something like 11 or 12 hours before he died to be with him. And he made his peace with God. And that's a great satisfaction in my heart yet to this day. Marion Jailhouse was busy on the night of August 7th, 1930. A crowd of curiosity seekers and vigilantes from miles around were gathering outside. Inside, Smith, Ship and Cameron shared cells with a group of black men arrested earlier for hitching rides on the trains that ran through the town. Now these black train riders in the, in the cell block with me, they were southern black boys. And they said, oh, hell, they, they getting ready to lynch these here boys. And they were walking around looking out the windows, and the crowd was beginning to gather. Yeah, the crowd was beginning to gather as soon as we were put in jail. And by morning, uh, they were cluttering up the jail yard. And all that day, they kept coming. And by, by nightfall, there was ten to 15,000 whites out there screaming for the blood of us three blacks. <laughs> 